In today's video, we're going to learn how to multiply two digit numbers using the stacked method. All this means is we're going to rewrite these problems with one number stacked on top of the other number. This makes it easier to, to uh, do more difficult multiplication problems with larger numbers. Today we're going to be focusing on two digits, but uh, we have other videos on this channel uh, showing how to use this with even more uh, digits, two and three digits. Um, so let's try number one. We have 13 times 12. So let's rewrite this uh, with one number stacked on top of the other. Now, a tip I usually give is to uh, put the larger number on top. It doesn't really matter as much when you're only dealing with two digit numbers, um, but if you start using numbers that are bigger, you know, a three digit or a four digit, it makes it easier uh, to go through the problem if the larger number uh, is on top, typically the number with more digits. Uh, that's when it matters. So, but it's a good habit to be in to always put the larger number on top. So let's rewrite. 13 is the larger number, so we're going to rewrite this as 13 times 12. Now, an important thing to remember also is when you are writing on top of each other, make sure the place values of the numbers line up. In other words, uh, the three and the two in the thir three and thirteen and the two and twelve are both in the ones place, so we have to put those on top of each other. And the one in both numbers are in the tens place, um, so we put those on top of each other. And now uh, we just multiply down or up, depending on how you look at it. Um, so essentially, what we're doing is we're going to be multiplying the two and the twelve times thirteen, and then the one, which represents ten in the twelve times thirteen, and then adding those together. So let's start with a 2. We have 2 times 3, so we write that. That's 6. We write that right below the 2 and the 3. And then 2 times 1 is 2. We write that right to the left. Now we move on to the 1. We're going to cross this 2 off so we don't get confused. Um, and since this 1 and the 12 is in the tens place, it represents 10. When we start, we have to put a 0 uh, under the 6 to represent uh, the fact that we are multiplying from the tens place. So put a zero here and then we do the same thing so we have one times three that's three so that goes here and then one times one is one and that goes there um, and so now our last step is just to add these two together because essentially what we have is we have two times 13 which equals 26 and then 10 from the tens place in the 12 times 13 which is 130 so if we add those together it should give us our final answer so six plus zero that's 6, 2 plus 3 is 5, and then 1 plus nothing is 1. So our final answer is 156. 13 times 12 is 156. Let's try number 2. We have 15 times 22. So again, a good habit to get in is writing your larger number on top. Again, it won't matter really here, but good habit. So 22 is a large number, so we're going to put 22 times... 15, draw our line, and now let's multiply through. So we start with a 5 and 15, so 5 times 2 is 10, put a 0 and carry the 1 over here, and we have 5 times 2 again, that's 10, we have this 1, so plus 1 is 11, so we write 11 because there's nowhere else to carry, and that's done for the 5, so let's cross off this 1 and cross off the 5 so we don't get confused, that looks like an 8, it is not... <laughs> Um, so now we have the 1 in the 15, uh, that is in the tens place, so let's put our 0 here. Remember we have to put the 0 when we're multiplying from the left side, the tens place. So we have 1 times 2, that's 2, and then 1 times 2 again is 2. So we're all set with that. Now we just have to add these together to get our final answer. 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 1 plus 2 is 3. So our final answer, 15 times 22, is 330. So here we have a couple more examples. Um, you can feel free to pause the video and try these on your own if you feel confident, or else uh, you can just follow along with me uh, as we go through to get the answer. So for number 3, we have 23 times 46. So again, let's rewrite this problem, putting our larger number on top. That would be 46. So we have 46 times... 23, being careful to line up the places, place values. Um, and so now let's multiply through. We have 3 times 6, that is 18. So we put our 8, carry the 1, 
3 times 4, it's going to be 12, and then we have to add that 1. So that's 13, so we write 13. Let's cross off that 1, cross off this 3. Now we have 2 times 6, but be careful. Remember, this does not go under the 8. We have to put the 0 there because this represents 20. So 2 times 6, that's 12. So we put a 2, carry the 1 again. Now let's erase that, make it look better. We'll put the 1 up here so you know it's not 146. 2 times 4, that's 8, plus 1 is 9. So our final step is to add those two answers together. So we have 8 plus 0, 8. 3 plus 2, that's 5. And 1 plus 9, that is 10, put a comma. So our final answer, 23 times 46 equals 1,000. And 58. Circle that. <clears throat> Our last example here, we have 19 times 32. So let's rewrite this. Which number goes on top? The larger one, 32, right? So we put 32 times 19, our line, and we multiply through. 9 times 2, it's going to be 18. So we write our 8, carry the 1. 9 times 3, it's going to be 27 plus 1 is 28. So 28, there's nowhere else to carry, so we write the 28. Now cross that 9 off, cross this 1 off. We can start with the 1 down here. Remember, our 0 because the 1 is in the tens uh, place. So it's representing 10. Um, so 1 times 2 is 2, so we put the 2. And then 1 times 3 is 3. And now our final step is just to add these two, uh, two answers together. So we have 8 plus 0, that is 8. 8 plus 2, that's 10. We carry our 1 just like normally. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus our 1 that was carried is 6. So 19 times 32 is 608. <clears throat> Hopefully after watching this video, uh, you guys have a better understanding of how to multiply two-digit numbers using the stack method. Um, we have, like I said, we have another video uh, with some larger numbers, uh, multi-digits using the stack me method. Feel free to check that out. And we have a lot of other videos on the channel uh, going over all different topics in math. So anything you're struggling with, uh, feel free to check them out. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.